Hello, uh, my name is Michael Hoffman and uh, I'm an artist living in California. But for many years I lived in Japan working with a Japanese artist by the name of Jikihara Kyokusei Sensei uh, based in uh, Osaka. Uh, he died about uh, 10 years ago at the age of 101. Uh, much of his work was done in temples uh, throughout Japan and I was fortunate enough to travel with him and occasionally video his work uh, as he was doing it. And I'm, I'm very happy to have uh, this opportunity to share it with a wider audience and as uh, his disciple to kind of carry on the tradition. This temple, uh, Abiko Kanon, is uh, actually in the center of, of uh, Osaka. And uh, since he hasn't actually been here before, he just uh, is meeting the priest uh, for the first time. And we have, he has the whole afternoon to paint this mural. And he, uh, he's, he's pretty much improvising. After taking you know, some time to look at the, at the wall, he's starting to block in uh, the, the, the general composition. Uh, the charcoal can you know, be wiped off after the painting is done. These two women are two of his top disciples and they often travel with him to help him, assist him in different ways, uh, and which also includes uh, grinding the ink. So they may spend 10, 15 minutes just grinding ink. Sensei often works by going, starting with the very strong ink, uh, strong tones of, of black, and, and then he'll fill in with uh, a larger brush, but mainly he's using just one brush. Uh, he can get both very fine detail or fairly bold strokes that you, you see in this tree. It's interesting to notice how the hairs of the, of the brush are spread out and give this wonderful texture of the pine needles. I think it's also interesting to note how far up the brush he's holding, holding the handle here. So the, uh, it's quite, quite a dynam dynamic style of painting. Uh, you know, focus on improvisation. And here, using again the hairs of the brush spread out, he's getting this, this wonderful uh, texture of uh, foliage, you know, of the bushes, and uh, allowing really the brush to do the work. The subject of, of the composition is basically uh, a couple friends sitting in a hut uh, enjoying the scenery. As you can tell, he's kind of determining uh, the composition as he's painting, at least the finer points. You 
you know, he's working on an upright surface, so there's occasional drip, which you, you see here. And it's, I, I think it's really cool how you see how he's able to, you know, uh, catch the drip and, and, and just further the composition along. Uh, the drip just becomes part of the rock. He started painting, uh, well seriously he started painting um, maybe around 18 years old I think. He was actually writing poetry up until then. Um, and then he found uh, a wonderful teacher uh, to work with uh, and, and his so also had a very long apprenticeship. It's interesting to notice how the ink naturally on the brush goes dry and he gets this very dry texture and, and, and of course the brush also gets, the, the ink gets lighter as he's working. The day before this video was made he was um, at home and as he was going down his stairway he slipped and fortunately, instead of pulling all the way down the stairs, his arm caught in the banister. And it, it saved him from pulling down the stairs, but it did jar his, his, um, his shoulder. So occasionally, he, you can see him, as he's working, he's kind of favoring the shoulder. And during the break, during this break, uh, the woman, one of the women who came with us, um, who's a, uh, a yoga teacher, helped him with his arm and, and well, just helped him uh, deal with the, the pain he was experiencing. So here he's, he's starting to use a wider brush and just uh, you know to cover more area at a time and then to fill in. So here he's kind of creating uh, more uh, solid shapes um, in the pine tree. The the ink that he 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 painted originally uh, is dry at this point. This whole painting took about uh, an hour and a half with a short break, a short tea break. And the women actually had to convince him to, to take that break because he was, he was happy just to continue working. He's finished the painting, and the first thing he writes is his age, uh, which is 92 as he as he writes it, uh, one year extra because of the different way of counting in, in, in uh, Japan, and then his name Gyokusei, and then his stamp, um, which is uh, something he carved himself. This is the final uh, group shot here. And they've asked me to sit on the floor because I was thrown off the balance, I think. Yeah, the priest was very happy with the, with the mural. We're now uh, about to venture back out into downtown uh, Osaka. We get on a, a subway and it's about, you know, 
20 minutes back to, to his house. <laughs>